Mm. Now we're going to do a drift, drift analyzer. analyzer. So uh, let's see how we do that. There we go. M drift analyzer. I was like, this is going too good. 196 meters. 196. But the ang less angle. Less angle and still yeah, only anyway. three stars. Yeah. Come on, yeah. BMW. Seriously. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I find myself back at the safety driving center at the Nürburgring. I say back because I actually shot a video here about three years ago testing winter tires with Misha. There's a link to that up here. We had lots of fun and we discovered lots of science. And that's kind of what today is all about. I've got the G82 M4 behind me in manual, as you're probably quite familiar with already. And a big talking point of this car and the new M3 that I have was the 10-way traction control system. I must admit, when I first heard about that, I thought it was maybe a little bit gimmicky. I know racing cars, GT3 cars, have 10-way traction control systems that do work very well, but I wasn't expecting the road-going cars to have a really good effective system. But in the time that I've had my M3 and I've driven various Prescar M3 and M4s, I've realized that the traction control system does really work very effectively. Why not test it in a safe environment on their skid pan facility here and see exactly what the 10 different stages do in terms of, well, let's say drifting or skidding, how much safety they give you when they're turned on and how much freedom they give you as you reduce the number essentially. 10 is turned on the most and zero is completely off. I'm now in the car and I'm joined by Misha. Thank you for having me all of a sudden, random, but random. here we are. <laughs> here we are, fancy finding you out in the Nürburgring. <laughs> uh, we're back at the glorious skid pan that Misha and I did a winter tire test at uh, mm -hmm. almost three years ago, two and a half, three years ago. Very different conditions. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about this amazing venue that we're at, Misha? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so this is the Fahrsicherheitszentrum am Nürburgring, or the safety driving center at the Nürburgring, or also the Drift Park Nürburgring, because they have two big venues. This is actually the safety driving center number two. They have also number one, uh, where you can do all kinds of things from just learning how to control the car basically to feel when it's breaking out to learn how to drift they offer professional drift training uh, with the beginning drivers we love to go here with the beginning aspiring racing drivers we like to go here because they have a skid plate which is like you go straight and it kicks out the back end but most of the time we come here to actually well to do such fun like <laughs> drifting driving so yeah. big thank you again to the safety driving center at the Nürburgring for allowing us to have some fun here absolutely yeah. and as I said in the intro there'll be a link to them below in the description so make sure you hit them up well today a bit like that uh, winter tire test it's kind of science but fun science which is the science that we like <laughs> in, uh, insert breaking bad science meme here <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> what the main thing of today's video really is just to talk about the the 10 way traction control that you now get in the g80 g82 uh, bmws um traction control rewind 10 years it was pretty basic it was basically on or off mm. and some bmws had a halfway house but it wasn't brilliant now this is actually very good. Uh, it obviously stems from some of the technology the GT3 race cars have. Yeah. Um, and obviously it's not quite to that degree, but it's still very, very impressive. I've tried it a lot on tracks and stuff. Obviously it's not ideal to try it on the public road mm. and that's why we're here today. But it's a really nice place to just play around. And in fact, I'm intrigued as probably you are um, to see what happens and what the differences are. We're gonna start at 10, so essentially everything on how the car would be when you start it up in the morning it's in its default setting and then we'll work our way down and see uh, what we can achieve now i'm definitely no drift god so <laughs> so bear with me on the driving and also i'm just getting my excuse out of the way the drift pan it is slippery and it's different surfaces out there so it's quite uh difficult to sort of get your head around but anyway that's enough excuses so that's your excuse my excuse is because it was so random and all of a sudden 
I don't have my driving shoes. So I have this amazing... <laughs> What's that uh, smell on here? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, right, right. <laughs> you want the other smell? <laughs> 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 this is no brand deal or product placement, but Ultra Boost are one of the most comfortable shoes. The only downside is that this heel is sticking out, the sole. So you don't have like really nice position. So whenever I do long distance driving, I always put my racing shoes on. Oh, okay. So that's, that's my... A, that's actually a better excuse than yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. And talking of driver excuses, so I'm going to do all the traction control stuff to keep it consistent but at the end we are going to have a fun bit we're actually going to set up the drift analyzer and see who can get the biggest angle or the most stars i don't even know how it rates but that'll be fun and where misha will get behind the wheel and probably completely embarrass me no but... I, I don't know how to drift I, I, as a race car driver amateur aspiring yeah. food vlogger race car you driver try not to drift do you try you? not to drift yeah. I, I i always try to catch the car and not to do it but something yeah. that i really need to do like practice on a set of course on how to drift because apparently people and there are a lot of people actually learn it anyway enough talking because yes. we have also a tf afterwards okay so, so we're on level 10 yes i've put the throttle to sport because the sport plus has made me a bit aggressive mm -hmm. um and uh, i think the chassis we could probably make the chassis a bit softer get a bit more feel or not no let's put it on sport sport there yeah, we go the, the middle ground between, yeah okay so here we go so this is how you would get in your car in the morning and this should hopefully uh, defunct the myth that rear wheel drive cars are really dangerous because most modern rear wheel drive cars are all in fact have traction control systems so now we're on the slippery surface mm -hmm. we'll come in here we'll build up pace it's very very slippery i'll put my foot down a bit more a bit more and i'll just get understeer okay so just like you would in a front wheel drive car okay so let's let's just try that one again a bit more throttle you get again understeer stab with the throttle again understeer so it's really really difficult to antagonize the rear end even there it's just you can just feel it as soon as it starts to move it basically conduces into understeer so basically unless you're a complete fool there you're not going to get out of control and let me just reiterate that's a very slippery surface that's almost like not ice, but snow, isn't it? Like a no, snowy no. Road. I, I would say this is just like yeah. No ice. It would be like even the inner Inside. circle. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it has different levels of tarmac, different levels of grip. Yeah. Can we please move to number nine? Number nine. I, I cannot bear with this thing. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can feel any difference in number nine. Uh, oh, straight away. Actually. Okay, so. Right away. Okay, so it, I'm. It allows something. It allows something, which is which is. Ooh, so okay. it, it allows the initial like breaking out, yep. but it, it catches you immediately. Yes. Exactly. This is actually quite great as well to teach the feel when the car would slide out. Yes. So you can catch it. And if I don't counter steer now, let's just. slow you down yeah you just... can feel everything trying to straighten me up and stop me there mm -hmm. and that was me not trying to cancel it okay so nine's interesting let's go down to eight okay <laughs> well eight again so again it's easier to get into the drift but i put my foot down then when i was in mid drift yeah. and it just said no yeah yeah so again it allows you that little bit of angle in fact <laughs> it almost drifts better for me when I'm in eight. But again, yeah, you can see there, but you have to really antagonize it. And all it takes is a little flick of opposite yeah. lock and you can kind of catch it. Yeah. Um, but that's interesting. Okay, so that's eight. You can feel the understeer again. You can feel the system's mm -hmm. working. All right, let's knock it down into seven. Okay, well seven, seven we're starting to be able to carry the drift a little bit yeah. and be a little bit naughty. It's almost a hero mode in a sense. Um, and you can actually feel the rear, you can actually feel the rear wheels spinning, which you couldn't in eight, nine mm -hmm. and 10, right? Yeah. Um, I think there was some initial wheel spin in the eight. Hello. And, uh, <laughs> and, that, and that still managed to use all the system to pull me back, which was, Pretty impressive for a rear-wheel drive car because that wasn't me. Right, let's get on into. It's impressive. It's six. cool that this is not not just a marketing gimmick. You know, this actually works. That then we still have like six levels to go. Yeah, it's finally on. God. <laughs> How wild is it going to be? Like, no, at this point, I'm, I start, I'm I'm more curious about like level one and two. Where, when will it actually start catching you or like preventing you from drifting? 
Yeah, like, it, that's, it's a good point. I've noticed one and two on track, on a dry track, you can just feel it. So maybe out here, it's gonna have very little difference on a slippery surface. Yeah. Uh, but that's kind of what you expect, isn't it, I guess? So now we're at number six. What? Again, a little bit more. Getting understeer there. <laughs> is it kicking in? Or no? Yeah, it is. It, yeah. I'm not getting the full throttle response. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And as soon as I came off the throttle there, you could feel the systems put okay. everything in. But, again, yeah. bigger angles. Bigger angles. Um, I think the system is probably also based on... Uh, do, do you know how, what's it based on? or did they? I'm guessing it's probably based on the steering angle, the steering... And, and, and probably speed. And speed, yes. Because I would assume that on a, on a fast track like the Nürburgring or something, you know, when you put it in one that you still have something and you go over Schwedenkreuz with 200 or over 200 kilometers per hour yep. and you go over the crest and the car wants to step out, that it then will catch you or like at least like catch just you some, the just, yeah, yeah, just yeah. like to, yeah. to to get this extra stability that you may need. Yep. Uh, but on slower parts, it would not intervene like in the low speed corners. But this is just my assumption. No, I think you're 100 percent right, yeah, mate. 100 yeah. percent. Yeah, it's right. Uh, so five. far, I've been fascinated because we've seen stages exactly which you wouldn't think. So now we're down to five. So this is the halfway point. Um, let's see what we can achieve in five. Well, straight away. Okay, so I'm kind of having to, I'm kind of having to cheat the system a bit. Mm. If I just keep my foot planted, I can mm -hmm. feel it reeling it back. Mm -hmm. But I find with these systems, because I drive them a lot, that if you've got it slightly on, if you're pumping the throttle, which is what you kind of, I think, do, if you're, yeah. it, it kind of cheats the system. Because mm -hmm. the system feels you're coming off, so it lets it go of the brakes and you cheat yeah. it again. Yeah. So, but if I'm not cheating this system, I can still massively feel them there. But I'll tell you what's, what's basically gone now. I can't, <laughs> I can't do much there. The, the understeer is almost gone now because it's allowing yeah. it to drive a bit more. So when I put my foot down, it goes straight into oversteer. Um, oh, not, that's not constant. Good. That's a constant thrust. Oh wow, we're almost doing, uh, <laughs> we're almost doing a full circle. Hey. Hey. <laughs> wow, Joe! <laughs> One hand drift. Ah. Ah, don't get too much okay. carried away. Right. Yeah, let's quit while I'm ahead. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just shows you, because I'm, I'm pretty guaranteed that with nothing on, I'm not going to be that good around here. So let's go down to four now. So five has shown us that on a slippery surface, you can actually be a bit of a hero. Um, so I'm guessing four again. Let's try. Okay, well, I managed to, that was my fault, I managed to make my way into the dry bit of the track in the middle. So let's just try again. Again, no issues whatsoever initiating that drift. We'll make our way into the inside. No, it's okay. Okay, I can, I can actually use the throttle a little bit now. Mm -hmm. so, so it unlocks, with everything, it unlocks the certain aspects of the driving control, either with steering or with throttle or exactly. brakes. Yeah, it's really, and when it it's intervenes. really interesting. Let's Number bring three. it down to three now. Now three, Three is a setting that I've used when I was on the petrol red tours and it was a really wet day and I had Lou next to me in the car. I didn't know the roads, some surfaces in Spain are really slippery and three got me, I think got me out of trouble a few times there. Mm -hmm. Or at least it, it was just a little bit, like you said, it's that little bit in the back of your mind knowing, okay, well, if I run out of talent or if the road surface changes, it might save my butt. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Or insurance claim. Or <laughs> 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 uh, right, so three. Yeah, I mean. Oh, that's almost. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, we're going to go around. Uh, there oh, we go. okay. Well, that's the first time we went around, apart from when everything was on and I was yeah. being too aggressive. Um, first, let's just demonstrate third. Oh, yeah. I mean. Woo. So it's allowing me pretty much full throttle control. I'm sure it's helping me a little bit. Right, number two. Okay, so this for me is is my, if I'm at a new track and it's raining or it's just started raining and I'm a bit nervous, uh, number two I usually have on uh, until I get used to the conditions because to me it feels like there's very little resistance. So let's just have a look. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm controlling that on the throttle. I 
of God doing this, but I'm really not. <laughs> so it just shows you, and, and again, if we just build up some pace, let's see what happens when you start to get understeer. Okay, you can feel it just helping a little bit, but oh, not there. No. <laughs> <laughs> All my chins are gonna be doing that on those things. Okay, let's go down to one. Number one, And um, will it even do anything at all? Is it gonna save me, you mean? <laughs> I think you're, be, you're beyond the, any saving point. <laughs> okay, so now, to be honest, we're going to find out when we turn it off, but to be honest, I can't feel anything there now. The throttle is responding perfectly. I think it's not really speed based. It must be, right? Yeah. It's just not even when I come off the throttle, it's not like the wheels are okay. Maybe there's a bit more drag there, but okay. So that's one. This will be interesting now when we turn it off. If I run out of talent completely, mm -hmm. then obviously the traction has been doing something in one, two, and three. <laughs> turn it off, Misha. We're off. Oh no. <laughs> this is the big moment. So now everything is off. When you turn everything off in a BMW, at least up until now, as far as I know, it's off. Yeah, right. unlike brands from Stuttgart. Yes, exactly. <laughs> where, there, where there's definitely someone still watching over your shoulder. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, yeah, the back end's a lot more lively now. I've got more, more steering lock on and the throttle is more responsive. But I'm still... Why did I have to end like that? Well, okay, so that has been really fascinating for me and probably for you. Before we go to swap seats, if yeah. we're going to swap seats, yes. let's see what the, does the, the, the chassis uh, Absolutely. settings do. Yeah, so yeah. let's go for a Sport Plus. A stiffer chassis. Stiffer, okay. And I find that you go in comfort because this should be uh, make you able to initiate the drift a lot sooner. Okay. Because you're... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. God, it's like a board because it's stiffer now. Yeah. It just snaps. Yeah. Okay. Um, See if I can make less of a fall out myself. Yeah. Okay. It's lovely actually, it's nice yeah. and flat once you get it going. Yeah. It's a lot better. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go comfort. That should be actually dreadful, but okay. for the sake of science, we sacrifice ourselves. But in comfort, arguably, on the road in wet conditions, you probably get more the best, exactly. Yeah. That's why uh, like cars on stock suspension on the Nürburgring are a lot faster than race cars, because they can just have the better weight transfer. <laughs> Keep running out of tannin. Okay, let's try that again. Huh? It's hard because the cut the weight's moving around. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, okay. But that's really interesting because I went for comfort when we started and thankfully yeah, you said no put sport. it in sport. Uh, but so but sport plus is the best. Sport plus is the best. Okay, so let's go sport plus. And then now we're gonna do a drift drift analyzer. analyzer. So uh let's see how we do that. There we go. M drift analyzer. Okay. Okay, activate. Let's uh, activate, yeah. all right. All right, here we go. What am I gonna get? I should. I. It's it's showing the thing, yes, right? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Why is it not doing it? Oh, ah, there we go. go. Three stars Six out of five. Uh, 104 meters and 34 degrees. Let's try. 104 meters of drift, that's good. 34 degrees of angle. Oh, I started to smile then. I was like, this is going too good. 196 meters. 196. But the less angle. Less angle and still yeah, only anyone. three stars. Yeah. Come on, yeah. BMW. Seriously. Yeah. Well, it was 23 
seconds long. Right, here we go. meters for sure. Computer says 308. Three and a half? Sorry. Yeah. Congrats. <laughs> okay, well that was lots of fun. Now we want to see what Misha's like. Obviously we're going to give him some good practice because I've practice. had plenty of practice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's swap see. a route. Yeah. Because it was probably, it was about to... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright. Nice. Okay, well, that's a good first one. So 24.9 degrees, 194 yeah. meters. That's but in terms of like stuck. scoring, four and a half, you... I can't say it because I'll get demonetized. But yes, well yeah. done, mate, yeah. It just, I, it's a mindset. I need to, that, That's what I'm constantly trying out to switch it off to yeah. actually... No grip, but like... Two and a half, but still another again. Hundred was that the same distance? Yeah, yeah. look at that. Yeah, same distance. <laughs> that's, hey, that's race, ca yeah, race car yeah. driver thinks race car, consistency. Yeah. You don't need to drift any more than 194 meters on a racetrack. Doesn't look the same angle, almost the same. Oh yes. Oh <laughs> yes, we Gonna give us 212, 30 degrees, another four and, and a half. half. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, I think I will end this by saying, well, firstly, thanks a lot for watching. Massive thanks to the testing center. Yeah, the safety driving center. Fancy yeah. high stand home. I'm nervous thing, the German thing. I'm not German, so forget my pronunciation. You, you, sound, you sound very German when you do that. More, ge more German than Russian. <laughs> Um, I've never done an, an outro backwards before. <laughs> uh, but yeah, make sure, obviously you check out Misha's channel. I forgot to say that earlier on. Um, one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. And uh, yeah, brilliant personality as well. And it turns out pretty good at drifting. In the end, as long as he takes one shoe off. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, guys. Three stars. <laughs> I was like, oh, you got it. Three stars, 212 again. Look, two, look at your consistency. Consistency. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Misha. Thank you. Thanks so much, man. Um, yeah, awesome day. Awesome video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was, it was scientific fun. And uh, yeah, if you can hire a place like this, honestly, you can learn so much. We've only been here 45 minutes an hour. We both learned so much about drifting in that time in a safe environment. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it, don't do not do it on the streets. Don't do it, you know. That's also will not cost your tires. Also won't cost your tires. I mean, it wouldn't anyway, because this isn't my car, but you know, <laughs> well, we, we won't mention that. <laughs> Another but it's thing, very true, yeah, very true. Another thing, it will also not cost you brake pads if you do everything with everything off. Yes. Because traction control works by braking your it, wheels. Exactly. The wheels, so yep. that's the thing. And we can actually smell some brake pads already. So 
think it's time to actually really say goodbye. Yes. Or not. <laughs>